From Tokyo to Tacoma, welcome and welcome back fellow fans of Clash of Clans. It's your host Galadon and I don't know if you've been in touch with the Clash World Championship Qualifiers series, but let's just say it is pretty much as most would anticipate. It is a battle of the Root Riders. In fact, Root Riders are so dominant that Clash of Clans has become more of a Rubik's Cube competition than a strategy championship. And the reason I say that is because everybody knows how to beat the base. It's just how to do it the fastest. There's, okay, there's a few non three stars and those are considered massive fails and almost unicorns in the very high end of Clash competition. In fact, this right here, and it's one of two replays I'm showing, congrats to Synchronic for qualifying the golden ticket. Navi got the silver ticket. They're gonna go on for that last chance tournament to try to get into the world. But yeah, okay, at the end of every attack, they recapped the amount of expired time in the attack because everybody was getting three stars and it really came down to who could multitask faster, who could put their super barbarians to use in reducing the amount of time spent attacking the base. And well, I saw a lot of complaints in social media saying that this was by far the least exciting championship qualifiers they had ever witnessed. Now, the good news is for the average player, it's not quite that broken. And I can tell you that in a future video, I'll show you how my success was limited as I went up higher, closer to 6,000 trophies in Legend League. So the average players seem to be happy about this meta, more or less. And well, the pros and perhaps the viewers of the pros are not having quite as much fun. Here you can see Simon gets it done in a minute 21. 81 seconds for a three star against a professionally designed and tested world class maxed out Town Hall 16 base. Yes, the meta maybe is a little bit off for the pro level player. Now, Klaus is pretty much considered currently probably the best player in all of Clash of Clans. He's also extremely vocal on social media, not afraid to pull punches and has been known to be a little, a little tough. On, on Clash of Clans in general. Now, I will show you some of that at the end of today's episode. If you want to go follow him on X, go right ahead. Just be prepared for the opinion of most of the pro players, it seems, that this is just not a sustainable or exciting time in Clash of Clans. The game is not hard enough, which again, you know, for us average players, and I like to think that I speak for a lot of the average players, it's not that bad. I mean, I'll tell you right now. Okay, in the future video, yes, 5,052, 5,400, things are pretty easy. 5,600, 5,800, yeah, the bases get a lot better, and there is such a thing as an anti root rider base. It's just more likely to stop an average player than it is to stop somebody like Klaus or any of the players that were playing in this World Championship qualifier. So yes, something needs to change. Something needs to happen. I don't feel like it should be a major game offensive defensive rebalancing because again, happy players are active players and a lot of the average players are happier than they've been for a while, especially compared to say Town Hall 15. So what do you think? Is the answer just to simply create a pro mode and say maybe in Champion 1 and other areas of tournaments, they have some switch they can turn on that boosts defense by 10%? I don't know. Klaus, 82nd three star. And uh, yeah, okay, so here's some of his social media posts. Come on, Klaus, tell us how you really feel. But yes, obviously it's a different animal out there right now. And I agree in the opinion that watching the world qualifiers, not as exciting as it has been. Uh, here's a long post by him, but again, let me know what you think with your opinions down below in the comments. They will get passed on to Supercell as well. Thank you for sticking around all the way to the end of today's episode. Now get out there, make the best of the rest of your day, week, month, and you'll be kind to other people, animals, and planet. Always think of the cup half full and not half empty. I'll see you all back here again tomorrow for more full attacks. And, and obviously three stars. do that it's easy clash is broken and i'm the best there is it's true hmm.